Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to install Code Whisper in Visual Studio Code. Amazon Code Whisper is a general purpose machine learning powered code generator that provides you with code recommendations in real time. As you write code, Code Whisper automatically generates suggestions based on your existing code and comments. Your personalized recommendations can vary in size and scope, ranging from a single line comment to fully formed functions. Let's dive right in. To get started, we need to have Visual Studio Code installed on our machine. If you don't have Visual Studio Code already, visit code.visualstudio.com forward slash download to download a copy for your machine. For Windows, you'll download on the Windows platform over here. For Linux or Debian, you'll go over here. And for Mac, it determines if you have Apple Silicon or Intel. If you have an M1 or M2, then Apple Silicon is the version you need, and anything else is going to be an Intel chip. If you already have Visual Studio Code already installed on your computer, then you need to update your IDE. I already have Visual Studio Code open, so I'll move over to my Visual Studio Code. For Mac, to update our Visual Studio Code, we're going to go up until we see Code. We're going to click on Code. Now we're going to click check for updates. As we can see, I have no current updates available. This is the same thing you want to see. Another way to update your Visual Studio code is you can click on this manage settings over here, and then you can check for updates through there. That works the same way. On Windows and Linux, you can choose help and check for updates and that should accomplish the same exact thing. Once we have Visual Studio Code downloaded, installed, or updated, then we're gonna have to download the AWS Toolkit. To do that, we're gonna visit Extensions over here, and in the search bar, we're gonna type in AWS Toolkit. We're gonna click on that, and we're gonna click install. Once AWS Toolkit installs, we'll see an icon for AWS pop-up on the left side of our screen. We're gonna click on that. Once we've clicked our AWS icon, we're gonna see a page similar to this one. Under developer tools, we'll see an option that says Code Whisperer Preview. Under Code Whisperer, we're gonna click on Start. Once you click start, a few number of options are going to pop up. We're going to be clicking on the first option that says use a personal email to sign up and sign in with AWS Builder ID. Keep in mind, you don't need an AWS account to sign up with a Builder ID. This is going to be completely a new ID you're going to be using with your Code Whisperer instance. So we're going to click on use a personal email to sign up and sign in with AWS Builder ID. Once we click that, a pop-up will come up saying copy code for AWS Builder ID. So we're going to copy this code. This is the code over here. So once you click that, a new page will open on the next pop-up and then we're going to enter this code. So we're going to click copy code and proceed. Do you want code to open the external website? We're going to click open. This page will pop up. And we already know we copied the code, so we're just going to paste it here as it is. And we're going to click Next. Once that has been completed, we're going to enter our email address and we're going to click Next. Feel free to enter any personal email address you'd like to use for your Visual Studio code. Once you click next, it's going to ask you to insert a name, which will be visible to other people using AWS. This is just for your AWS Builder ID, so feel free to enter any name you identify with. Once you've entered your name, click next. It's going to ask you for a verification code that was sent to your email. So find your email 
and find the verification code and insert it right here. Once you've inserted your verification code, click verify. Seems like I entered it wrong. That should be it. Once you've verified, enter your password. Once you enter your password, enter whichever code is being given to you over here. Once you enter that, click create a WSB order ID. We're going to click allow at this pop up. And we're looking for something green like this. So we can close this window and return back to our Visual Studio. Once we return to Visual Studio, we're gonna see something happen with our Amazon Code Whisperer. We're gonna get a few details talking about what we can do, blah, blah, blah. But we're just gonna click accept and turn on Code Whisperer. Then we're gonna get a few details on how to use Code Whisperer, but we don't wanna look at it if we already know what we're looking for. So we can look add it and read through it if you want over on the explorer side under our amazon aws instance we're gonna see that we are connected with aws builder id over on the developer tool side we can see that we can pause auto suggestions run security scan and so on so let's give it a rundown on how we can use this over at the bottom of our visual studio instance we can see that our builder ID has a checkbox and our code whisperer is checkmarked. Now that we have our code whisperer downloaded and set up and good to go, we need to test out how our AI assistant is going to do. AWS recommends that before using code whisperer, you disable any other extensions that provide code completion functionality. This could be tools like tab nine or GitHub Copilot. To disable these tools, you can go back to the extensions tab over here and then you can look for any extensions that you have like tab 9 and once you click on it there will be a disable option here so make sure you click disable and it should look like this it should say enable but we're not going to enable that because we just want to test out our code whisper once you have that disabled or if you don't have any of those set up we can move on with making sure we have sdks that we can use if you want to write Java code, make sure you download the Java SDK. If you want to write Python code, download the Python SDK file. I'll be providing links to these SDK downloads in the description box. I'll also include some of the links for the SDK files for Python and Java right here. So look here if you want some of those links. Once you have the SDK files downloaded, for whatever language you want to use, we can move on with creating a new project. To create a new project, click on the file extension over here, explore. Once you click on explore, we're going to open folder and we can go wherever we want to open our folder at, wherever we want our projects to reside pretty much. So we're going to click open. Once we click open, we can see a new Visual Studio instance opened and we can see the folder that our projects are going to reside over here. To create a new project, we can click the file icon over here or we can create new folders where we want other projects to reside. So I can start by creating a new folder. I'm going to call my new folder tests. Once you have that, we can expand our folder to see if we have anything in, but I'm going to create a new Java project. So I'm going to say new file. And I'm going to say sort array dot Java. This will be my Java class to sort an array. 
So let's see how AWS Code Whisperer works on this. So I'm going to write a few comments. Let's say sort an array of integers. Click enter. Okay, there is our code whisperer generating a few things for us. Click enter. Okay, click enter. I'm gonna provide a few more prompts. Say, assume there are no duplicates in the array. Okay, let's see. We have our first function, so tab, enter, tab, enter. Okay, our main method, tab, enter, tab, enter. We just got a close of our class, so we're closing curly bracket. And we can see it provides us what time complexity and space complexity we can also reach. So we're gonna tab that and we'll click enter and we can save this. We now have an idea of how Code Whisperer works. We can see by just typing a few comments, Code Whisperer will generate some code for us that we can use to test. We can see how easy Code Whisperer makes our task. It was able to write code based on how we want it. We want our code in Java and was able to detect that we want code in Java with our extension and it was able to generate code for us. In addition to its code analysis features, Code Whisperer also has some useful utilities. For example, it can generate constructor functions automatically and provide code snippets to make common tasks easier. So you can automate a few of your tasks that you don't want to do with Code Whisperer with just typing out a comment and letting it give you a suggestion or writing it out completely outright. In conclusion, installing Code Whisperer in Visual Studio Code is a simple process that can help you write cleaner and more maintainable code. Give it a try and see how it can improve your coding experience. If you want a more in-depth overview of Code Whisperer, feel free to let me know and I can provide a more overview on how it works. That's it for today's video. Feel free to leave me feedback if you think this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.